Let's perhaps uh, take a step back. This is 2011 we're talking about. How soon we forget? Two years ago, uh, the central bank governor, Lamido Sanusi, embarked on that cleanup of the Nigerian banking sector. Today, what we're seeing is consolidation with just three banks of those that were rescued then, uh, failing to recapitalize as required. When you look back at 2011 and where the Nigerian banking sector stands right now, what kind of a picture do you see going into 2012? I think certainly that the Nigerian banking sector has come through a crisis successfully. Um, the crisis that started two years ago in September of this year has been brought to closure. With the setting up of AMCON, AMCON buying off the NPLs and recapitalizing the banks that were intervened, we have seen stability restored to the banking sector. And the three objectives of the central bank, which was capital adequacy, providing liquidity, and corporate governance, you know, have been actually introduced um, back into the market. So, so definitely, the banking sector is much stronger. So when you look at it now, would you say completely that the risk that was uh, clear in 2009 that forced the central bank to act has been eliminated and that the Nigerian central, uh, banking sector as a whole stands on a sound, firm footing? I would say most of the risks have been eliminated. Okay. And the banking sector is much stronger now. So let's talk about uh, some of those risks that remain inside the Nigerian banking sector. Rates, we know, have been going up, and with that comes, of course, the, the, the uh, danger of delinquencies rising, and also, of course, the cost of funding for both banks and businesses increasing. Let's talk in general, though, about uh, the, the risks that face the Nigerian banking sector come 2012. Certainly, um, the increase in interest rates is of concern. But um, that is the central bank's response to the excess liquidity in the system. Um, they have clearly stated that price stability is important. And it's also important to have real interest rates to encourage savings. So the increased, um, the, the higher interest rate certainly is of concern mm -hmm. in the sense that especially for the smaller borrowers, the medium-sized businesses, it will lead to greater delinquency. But we believe that um, the banks have better risk processes in place. Um, the banks have, over the past couple of years, um, introduced certain intervention funds at lower interest rates, which would help to support these sectors. Right. Now, as Stanbic uh, IBTC, what uh opportunities do you see in this environment? I mean, we spoke about the fact that some of the banks had to be rescued and we saw mergers and acquisition activity increasing ahead of uh, the conclusion of that process. Do you see further room for consolidation inside the Nigerian banking sector? There is further room. Um, as banks respond to the latest round of consolidation, yeah. you will have a few other banks coming together. Will you guys be active in that space? Well, the Standard Bank Group have clearly expressed that they are interested in growing in this market. And we will do so either organically or if the right opportunity arises, we will consider it. Would that be inside just Nigeria or will you be looking beyond Nigeria? I'm speaking only for Nigeria. Just for Nigeria. Okay. So let's talk about uh, 2012 and the opportunities that it brings for uh, instances in parts of your business, such as uh, uh, the loan group as well as, as well as advisory services. Nigeria's economy is growing at the rate of 7% per annum. So in terms of opportunities, where do you see those coming through uh, across the whole spectrum of the Nigerian economy? The main opportunities are going to come from the power sector, also the agricultural sector, with the removal of the fertilizer subsidy. Um, another area that we expect to see um, opening up is the oil and gas sector. But these sectors will only open up if the reforms that have been introduced are speedily concluded. 
So if we see the PIB being passed, we expect the oil and gas sector to open up rapidly. You know, if the privatization process in the past sector um, is successfully concluded, you know, that sector will certainly open up. And already in the agricultural space, um, we have the banks lending to this um, sector in the current year through the 30 billion um, agricultural finance facility that was recently signed with the Minister of Finance and right. the Ministry of Agriculture.